What's up, yummies? Okay, so it's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm a little behind schedule on this because I probably should have recorded this stuff before Super Bowl Sunday, but I kind of like to do things on the fly. So that's what's going on today. What I'm going to do is show you guys some of the little snacks and um, nashi food that I'm gonna make for Super Bowl Sunday. We're gonna watch the game at home and you know, we like to have good, yummy little snacks to eat. So <laughs> let's get started with the chicken wings. What I did was I marinated the chicken wings last night. And um, what I did was I took the, the chicken wings and I, Clean them, and whenever I clean chicken wings, I soak them in either vinegar or fresh lime. In this case, I did fresh lime because I didn't want the vinegar to overtake the taste of the chicken. Sometimes I go a little heavy with vinegar, I've been told, and it overtakes the taste. So what I did was I took the fresh lime, and I took salt and pepper and garlic. That's it. So the stove is preheating. Temperature is at 475 because I want it to be kind of high because I want the, the wings to cook quickly and crisp. I want them to cook thoroughly, but I want them to cook fast on a high heat because I want them to crisp up. I don't want too much juice to form in there because I'm going to add a sauce at the end. Okay, so I'm going to get these chicken wings in the pan. First, I'm going to drain off some of this excess juice. Now the salt and pepper and garlic and lime juice on the chicken marinated overnight. So this way you'll have flavor, not just on top of the chicken, but you'll have flavor to the bone. That's what happens when you marinate meat. Um, you notice some people when they cook, when you taste their food, you're like, wow, I could taste the seasoning and the seasoning is all the way inside, you know, underneath the skin. That's because they marinate their meat. Some people also marinate it to give it a tenderness because that also helps. Whenever you use an acid in your marinade, it starts to break down the protein and it makes it tender. Right? So the chicken is in the pan and I'm going to get that in the oven. Now remember, whenever you cook meat and you want to keep it, the juices in, you don't want it to dry out, you always cover your pan with foil before you put the meat in. For the first maybe 20 to 30 minutes of cooking, you want to cover the pan. So this way, um, the, it'll keep the juices in. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to get some foil. By the way, in case you're wondering, aluminum foil, you don't have to spend a lot of money on aluminum foil because you're just going to throw it away. So I get the store brand and I buy heavy duty so this way it doesn't if it's a cheap brand, it won't fall apart. In this case, it happens to be ShopRite. Shout out to ShopRite. Okay, I'm gonna put the chicken in the oven. I'm gonna let those chicken wings cook for about 30 minutes. After I take the chicken wings out of the oven and they're nice and crisp and brown, I'm gonna toss the chicken wings in the garlic parmesan sauce. So the chicken wings are gonna be baked, but they're gonna still be crispy. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the sauce. I'm not gonna use any salt because I'm using soy sauce. So I'm gonna take, I've got about um, 10 chicken wings and they're like the wingettes. So there's no tips, it's just the drumstick and the middle piece. So I'm gonna take, because I'm using 10, I'm gonna take about, this is about a half a cup. So I'm gonna take a fourth cup, which is half of a half. And I'm gonna drop that in. I'm gonna take, I'm using a lot of garlic powder because these, after all, are garlic chicken wings. Garlic parmesan chicken wings. I'm using black pepper. A couple of shakes of that. Some paprika. This is regular paprika, not smoked. Even though I like smoked paprika, I'm not using that this time. I'm gonna take two splashes of grapeseed oil, because you need a little bit of oil to bring it together and so that it coats the wings. 
If you don't want to use any oil, if you're cutting back on fat because wings already have enough oil in them, you don't have to use it because the sugar is going to help you with letting it stick. So I like to use light brown sugar for a little bit of sweet. I'm going to take like two tablespoons, two heaping tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm just going to whisk sauce together. You see that it's not really that much. If you feel like you want to use, you want some more, just add a little bit of water to this. You don't want to add more soy sauce because then it will be too salty. And your chicken wings are already seasoned with salt and pepper. That tastes fantastic. So I'm going to add one cup of water and I'm going to use my filtered water that's in the refrigerator. My filtered water, add that, and I'm going to whisk it. And I'm doing this so that my, I have a little bit more sauce. Okay? Now, of course, since I added the water, that watered it down. So I'm going to need to thicken it a little bit. It still tastes amazing. But it's just thinned out. So I'm going to add two more tablespoons of brown sugar. Another splash of soy sauce. Some more ground garlic. Now I also have chopped garlic. And I like to buy this because it just makes it easier. This way I don't have to sit here and cut up garlic. So I'm going to throw like I like a lot of garlic, so I'm putting four heaping teaspoons of chopped garlic. Again, these are garlic parmesan chicken wings, so therefore, there needs to be a lot of garlic in it. Now, taste this and I'm gonna see where we are with the seasoning how this sauce tastes and I decided to put the sauce directly on the chicken wings and put them in the oven because when it goes in the oven it's going to thicken up so you see that that sauce seems like it's a little juicy and wet that's okay it's gonna get sticky because of the sugar and thicker once it's in the oven so I sprinkled some paprika on top Put, pour the sauce over the chicken wings and they're going back in the oven. Now, if you find that after you bake the, the chicken wings with the cover on, you have a lot of juice left in the pan, drain that sauce, drain that juice off because you don't want your chicken wings to be watery because you're gonna add a sauce to the top of it. We're gonna let those chicken wings cook for about maybe 15 more minutes, uncovered until they start to get brown and until that sauce starts to bubble and thicken up. And um, after that, we're gonna pop them underneath the broiler for like about five minutes. All right, so the chicken wings, I pulled them from underneath the broiler. And as you can see, if you guys can see that, they are a little bit broiled. You see the broil marks on there. You see how the sauce is thick sticky okay and um, I took them out of the pan because the pan started to get like really dark and um, that wouldn't look good on camera so here's what these chicken wings look like when I took the chicken out of the pan there's always still bits and pieces and sauce still left stuck to the pan so what I always like to do as so as to not waste those pan drippings as I'll call them is I deglaze the pan so if you ever have wine 
that you haven't finished, white wine preferably, and it's left over and it's in the refrigerator, and you know you're not gonna drink it, don't throw it away, you can use it to cook with because it's still good for that. So I splashed some white wine in the pan and I scraped out all the pan drippings, which gave me a little bit of reserve. So it gave me a little bit of extra sauce that I can use later on, you know, when reheating the chicken wings and they start to get a little bit dry. So now I'm gonna take, so I picked up some uh, Cella Reserva parmesan and i bought it like this in a chunk because they didn't have the freshly grated parmesan cheese in the store so i just bought this flavor and now look i'm just gonna put some freshly grated parmesan cheese on top of these chicken wings and i mean listen it doesn't get better than this look at this okay so i'm gonna some cheese, a good amount of it because we like Parmesan cheese. But if you don't really like that much Parmesan cheese, you, don't, you can use as much as you want. And then, so here we go, the garlic and salt sauce is on there and now we got the Parmesan cheese that's freshly grated and I'm just gonna mix that around a little bit, toss it a little bit. And this dish is complete. I'm gonna put it on a plate so you can see how pretty it looks. Hey, so we are done with these garlic parmesan chicken wings. Here they are. Mmm. I mean, they are spectacular. They taste delicious. That sauce, I'm not gonna taste them now because we're gonna eat these while we watch the Super Bowl, but I just wanted you to see this. Ooh, baby. And we are gonna enjoy so you guys have a wonderful day and make sure that your days are filled with so many blessings and always fill them with yummy dishes. Take care.